Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and it's some kind of other video, which is not a tutorial. In this video I will show you some experiment I made, describe my approach and give some tips for working with animation designer. Tell me in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this, since recording video like this is much faster than creating the regular tutorial video. Alright, so what I've done is making simple model of a creature like you see here and basic walk animation. I not wanted to spend so much time on polishing movement of each bone, so I tried adding complex muscle-like motion to the bones only with animation designer. And that's the result. So you see that there is a lot of going on in comparison to the source animation. Now source animation looks just very stiff. So the improved motion is a result of combining all of the features of a plugin. Um, the most role plays uh, elasticness, but without the modificators there wouldn't be so much additional motion and without eye case the legs would fall through the floor. So let's compare without elasticness and with and you see that it adds a lot of bounciness and a lot of additional movement to the bones and if you feel there is too much movement you can control it easily with the parameters. In this model I created limb for tail bones chain and use elasticness and also movement based elasticness to add some noticeable motion to the tail. I wasn't playing too long with the parameters and it's actually all for this section. <laughs> Let's go to eye case. In eye case section I added some additional motion to the pelvis but not too much, it's just subtle effect. But I also use the grounding IK algorithm just to modify quickly the walk cycle animation for the legs to adjust it a bit, like going with a mild forward steps in a negative value just to make bigger steps for the creature and also adjusting foot rise to put legs a bit higher. If you don't know how to use grounding IK, check the user manual or take a look in the other tutorial video for walk cycle animation. And yeah, that's it for the IK section. Now let's go to the modificators since there is a lot of going on. The most important thing in the modificators is rotating the spine bones in a very subtle way. And thanks to the elasticness, the motion produced with this modificators looks actually correct and realistic. So most important thing was tilting spine bones to the sides and be synchronized with the leg steps and to help myself doing it correctly I made a big values like you see here, so crazy dancing and then pulled it to be like 10% amount. Similar thing on the next spine bone And the rest modificators are just some compensation for, like for the head rotation, some tailbone rotation to trigger the elasticness on the tail and some elastic rotation also on the jaw bones. And that's it. So you can use the animation designer not just to improve or change some animations but also for creating something like intention animation which is very simple and then improve it with animation designer to make the quality of the animation much better. So thank you for watching, I hope you liked this video, learned something. Please tell me in the comments below if you would like to see more often videos like this since recording it is very quick in comparison to regular tutorial videos. Subscribe to see more, hit the bell for notifications about new videos and see you next time. Bye bye.